right, so I just made a video about, you know, uh, the worst sports game I ever played in my life, UFC 5, and I'm not going to go into detail about that. Just please make sure you guys check that video out. But this video is going to be really quick. I don't think it's going to be too long. But I'll just say that sports games are at an all-time worst, right? And some people are going to say, well, just gaming overall is in a bad place. And I'll say, I, you know, I agree with that. I think there's... Yeah, I would agree with that overall, right? Game is just in a bad place overall, I'll be honest about that. But in terms of just like sports games, guys, because you can still play single player games and have fun on it, right? You can play single player games and actually have a good time. Like Ratchet and Clank, I'm going to actually go up, go back upstairs and re-download Ratchet and Clank. You know what I mean? Like I want to play a game where I can have fun on again. But um, yeah, just overall with sports games, in terms of like, let's, let's talk about Madden, right? Madden was a game I played growing up, right? I'm talking about, I think the first Madden I played was Madden, I wanna say it was Madden, Madden 9. I think Madden, wait, who was on the cover of Madden 9? Yeah, definitely played Madden 9. So definitely not definitely not Madden 8, cause I don't know who's that. So Madden 9 was the first Madden that we played on 360. Madden 10 I played, um, Madden 11, Madden 12. Um, dang. And I think the Madden that I stopped, oh yeah, all the way to Madden 16, right? Madden 16 was the last Madden that I actually played until Madden 21, right? Because, I mean, it was just the same copy and paste of game. And of course, it's coming from EA, one of the worst gaming companies of all time. Um, yeah, it was just a copy and paste game, same game. The gameplay was not really that great. And mind you, I'm good at these games, guys. It's not, I'm not terrible at, at, at any of these games. Maybe hockey, I don't, I, you know, or MLB the show. I don't know too much about those games. But these games, I'm telling you about, I'm actually good at the games, guys. So, yeah, just sitting there playing, I'm like, bro, this, this, like it's just too many unrealistic things that just don't make any sense. And how is it that that ha you know that's happened over time? The games have gotten worse, and the the reason why the games have gotten worse and we're starting off with Madden, guys. Social media is a bigger thing more than it's ever been, right? Promotion. So companies are thinking about from a business standpoint to say, okay, let's bring Quavo in, let's bring in Little Yachty, or let's bring in Drake, or let's bring in some form of celebrity to help promote the game, to get the sales up. They're focused, that, that's all they're focused on guys. They're not, when I tell you the game developers, um, you know, shame on them too, cause they're the ones developing the games. But in terms of like the higher ups, they're not putting all their resources into the game development. They're putting their resources into the game promotion. So that's the biggest issue with the games nowadays. It's not about making sure the game is properly, properly well developed in terms of sports games. They're not making sure that it's properly well developed and to ensure we get the most realistic and fun experience we can get. It's just a, it's pure arcade nonsense. You know what I mean? Um, so that ends up being a big problem. But Madden 21 was the last Madden I played. I'm like, oh man, it's not good. Um, that I personally own. I played the newer Maddens, like, cause my little cousin would get it. But when I would play it, I'm like, bro, this is why I don't buy this game. It's, you know, even though I'm winning the game, I'm like, yo, that animation was bad. Like, this is bad. It's the same game. Like, there's no innovation. Nothing, nothing's new. It's a copy and paste. Right? And um, yeah, so that's that's what it is with Madden. The game's just not good from that standpoint. 2K, let's get into 2K. Ah, I played 2K since 2K9, right? 2K9 and um, 2K9, good, 2K10, good, 11, you know, 11, 12, 13. They were all experiences. And the reason why guys, they were all experiences is because, um, you know, you would just play, you get the roster updates, uh, you would get to play my career. You would try to get that championship. You try to get the best stats, and it was just cool, right? It was just cool to play. It was a, it was a great experience. Um, you know, two K fourteen had the the LeBron mode, so that was really fun to play. Um, yeah, and I think they had a mode where you can select the stars and like play, you know, my career with them. So yeah, just the, like two K back then was it was good. Once again, social media was less prevalent back then. So what happens is, um, it's not to that same extent where you know these companies are focused on oh we gotta we gotta you know make sure no they're focused on make sure the game is good not promotion promotion does matter yes but it comes second after game development you need to make sure that the product is actually the best it possibly can be then you worry about promotion not just promotion first and you know what i mean but they're getting away with it so that's that's just the unfortunate reality um yeah 2k15 came out well 2k14 was the first 2k where you know it had um the next that new generation again right that new generation and it ended up being like really really good to start off 15 16 17 that range of 2ks was really fun because they added a new park and it was really really cool and you know 
the community was saying what they liked or whatever, but it was just all just all new for us. We got this new park experience. It was really fun, this new rec experience. So it took 2K Gaming to the next level. Um, the fan base got bigger. Everything just grew from that point on because um, yeah, it was just a new experience and it was fun. Incoming 2K18. This is when things started to go down here for 2K. And it's, they're never gonna be able to, they're, like they're never going to be able to recover, right? Cause it's been years and years of damage of this. And a lot of people like me have short tempers for the game. So even if the game is half decent, whenever the same problems show up again, we just stop playing the game. 2K18 didn't introduce a neighborhood. Really, really terrible. Um, we didn't like it, right? Around that time, Fortnite came out, so that played a part in people not playing the game also. But the game just went downhill from there. They just stopped listening to the community. It became all about promotion. Um, notice every time that they promote the game, there's always some type of celebrities there and all this nonsense. The game development is through the roof and it's probably number six on the list of importance um, for 2K as a company. They don't care about the game development anymore. Uh, Mike Wang is just like a, I want to call him a, a pawn in this, I guess I can call him. I mean, he's just, he just there to talk about the game for like the first month or so. And then he just disappears like, oh, we're going to develop the next game. And when they're developing the next game, it's the same trash. So I don't know what the hell he's developing. Um, and yeah, pretty much since then, 2K just has not recovered. Um, 18 was terrible, 19 was terrible, 20 was fun from the standpoint of it was a pandemic and um, the build system on there was pretty pretty versatile. So you could make a bunch of different builds, different builds names, offensive threat, two way slash of playmakers. 2K20 was from, from a build standpoint. Um, 21, next gen, current gen, trash. 22 was, eh, it wasn't really all that memorable to be honest. 23 was just, un it was just trash and boring. Uh, six foot nines took over the game. And here we are in 24, and I'll be honest, 24 isn't that bad. It's one of the better 2Ks than all of them that I just said. The only 2K in recent years I could say was better than 24 is probably none of them. Maybe 20 has a chance of being slightly fun, but you know, they, you know they, they've done a pretty decent job of 24, but because of you know all the mistakes and even a few of the same mistakes that are in 24, I feel like a lot of people just have a short temper to play 2K and like everybody just starts to fade off from playing it after like the first month of the game being out. Um, so yeah, I mean, not all the sports games I've talked about. I mean, I talked about UFC 5 already, so you guys can check that video out. I just wanted to say that I think that sports games is an all time low right now. Some people are gonna say just gaming in general. But guys, you can still play single player games and have fun. So like, let's be honest about that, right? Any game that has a good, like Detroit Become Human is one of the best games I ever played in my life. And that's not a multiplayer game. It's a single player game, right? So there's games out there that you can play single player and have fun and actually enjoy yourself while playing a game. Multiplayer nowadays, it's at all time low because they don't practice, you know, they don't focus on game development. Um, people are going to always be looking for a way to exploit the game to win. So that's always going to be a thing and then people don't get penalized enough for exploiting the game. So the current state of gaming guys is, you know, is, is, is what it is. And then sports game is, you know, sports games are just like unplayable. So y'all let me know what y'all think down below in the comment section. And you know, this video was filmed back to back. So I know you're gonna see me with the same thing on. Oh, you not the same thing on. I filmed it right away. Cause I'm like, you know what? We grinding over here. So y'all know what to do, man. Drop a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let me see y'all boys in the next one, man. Peace. Gang, they cannot do it like him. Uh, uh huh. Nobody shooting like him. Gang, nobody doing like him. That nigga hate everyone cause he broke, and that's why he fight like him. Gang, SD Glock, now he talking this shit.